Hello everyone, welcome to today's training. Today our topic is about our new products, LX6V and VD3E. This is our today's contents. It is divided to four parts. I will introduce uh, hardware interface of our new products and some different comparison between our new products and uh, old products. Part 1. LX6V Hardware Interface This is our 6V PLC. It's smaller than 6V and uh, 5V. On the left, here we have our status interface, a status indicator, including power, cable, power light, running light, analog light, and so on. Uh, for 6V, we can use Type-C USB to upload, download, and uh, monitoring program, but uh, it's different, different with 6V and uh, different with 5V and uh, 63V. On the right of the Type C port, we have a TF card. In the future, this TF card will be used for program upload and uh, up download and uh, user data record. But for now, it is in developing. This part is our communication port. 6V have two channel RX4H5 interface for COM1. We can use it for we can HMI uh, communication and for COM2, it is also support model bus, RTU, ASK, and uh, also support user defined protocol. Here we can see two RJ45 uh, ports. One is its catch, it is support up to 128 server axes, and this one is Ethernet port. It supports motor bus TCP server and uh, support DHCP. This DHCP is not support in 5V. We need to set uh, uh, set IP for every 5V in the future. But for uh, in the past, but for 6V, we can DHCP to get IP. For the PLC host itself. This, this model, we have 8 input and 8 output. This 8 input is 150,000 HZ, one phase input, and we can also use it as 4 channel, 100,000 HZ AB input. For the list, uh, 8, for this 8 output, we have 4 channel high speed output. On the right is our uh, expansion module. 6V support up to 32. Uh, uh, support up to 32 modules. And the on the modules we have uh, a link status indicator. And this one is IO status. So we have IO status. Uh, so for and this one is. I/O module, so we have I/O status indicator. Six V only support uh, also support built-in RTC, and we can use this uh, for high-speed post output to control for server or stable driver. But for now, uh, our PLC, our six V, don't support. Uh, post control. We have uh, we have uh, hardware condition, but for software, we don't support high uh, po post control now, and uh, we we will support it in the future. Local expression module. For now, we only have uh, a DI and the DO module, and in the future this year, I, we will have uh, analog input output, and the temperature module and also communication module. Now I will introduce part two, a function comparison between 6V and 5V. 
Here are some mainly uh, difference parameters between LAN. First one is power, uh, power supply. 6V only supports 20, 24 voltage DC input, but 5V on also supports uh, 2020 AC supports uh, input. And uh, 5V also have uh, voltage output. The program cap capacity of 6V is 10 bigger, 10 type bigger, uh, 10 times bigger than 5V. And uh, here, uh, program verse 6V supports support later FB, FC, but uh, 5V only support later and the uh, command table. FBFC is new functions in 6V. And then the execution time of basis instruction, 6V is faster than 5V. Here are also some other differences. Please notice that 6V don't support BD board. And for the Ethernet, uh, for the Ethernet port, 6V only support Modbus TCP server, but 5V supports Bones server and the client. It is different. It's different. Okay, next is our software interface. I list uh, six points, six different here. First one is 6V at available windows. We can check. This is uh, 6V software. It's same with 5V. When build a new project here, we can choose PLC series. We can choose five, five series or six series. And we, here, this is our variable interface. We can add value here and uh, delete error, uh, delete variable. And uh, we can name variable here. And also change the type of the variable. Second difference, 6V later will show in shortest form. We can see here we have a same program. In 5V it is deployed like this, but in 6V we will show it in a shortest form. Just, uh, just too low. Second, uh, third, third difference. 6V at FBFC, customer, custom uh, structure, unit, and uh, global variable. We can see that in project management, FBFC, custom structure, and, uh, and this. For this, uh, for these functions, I will introduce them in the uh, in the next uh, training. Six three delete is a catch, is a net configuration. In five v here we can see we have a Ethernet configuration, and uh, in this configuration, we can. Uh, config PLC as uh, server or client. But in 6v, we delete that uh, configuration because 6v can only be used as water bus TCP server. And here, we can set the PLC server, a uh, PLC IP in PLC parameter Ethernet settings. You can set IP here. Five point six V at is a cat configuration and uh, motion control axis. We can see like right here is a cat is a cat config configuration. 
and uh, a motion control axis. For this, uh, for this configuration, I will introduce them in the future. We will have a serious uh, training of our new products. But today's training is about products training. So, so I will just introduce some difference and some hardware interface. The last difference is Six V delete BD board configuration and uh, add extension module configuration. Here in five V we have a BD board configuration, but in six V, because six V don't support BD board, so we uh, delete that configuration and we add this one. Extension module configuration look like this. We can add module and change the uh, change position of LAN. And for each module, we can configure LAN. And also, I will introduce this uh, this function in the future. Next difference is about ECAM. Uh, in 6V, we can uh, change ECAM curve by, by, by our mouse, uh, just like this video. But in 5V, in 5V, after we fill in the parameters such as a master pose, a select pose, we will get a certain curve, and this curve can't be changed. Uh, second difference is 6V cancelled ECAM instructions such as lottery cutting, fry cutting, and uh, only returns the gear lotion, gear region. Second, uh, last difference is 6V. Run or stop ECAM salute a motion control function broke. We can have a look in software. This built in function broke. And this uh, begin, begin with MC is our fun, uh, motion control function broke. For now, we have this. And I will introduce them in the future in the future training. <clears throat> now I will introduce VD3E hardware interface. The appearance of VD3E is almost the same with VD2. Here we can see a status indicator, keyboard, input power. A parking resistors and so on. But we can see CN2 is a little uh, smaller than VD2 because VD3 have uh, less DI and DO. CN3 is a Type C uh, interface. It is used to connect to PC for using our uh, configured tool, this one, this tool. And on the top, on the top we have two is a is a catch port, one in and one out. You can check this this picture. You can see, uh, from PLC to servo we have a cable, and from servo one to servo two we need a cable. Servo two to servo three we have another cable. So for each servo we need two ports, one in and one out. Okay, in the last part, I will introduce the function difference between VD3E and VD2. First is power supply. VD3E only supports 
of 220 voltage inputs, but VD2 only uh, also supports 380 voltage input. In code type, VD3 only have VD3E only have absolute type, and the DIDL port is less less than VD2. And for these functions, uh, analog inputs, uh, internal speed, internal position are not support in VD3E. Communication, VD3E support is a catch, and the VD2 support Modbus RTU. So uh, VD3E don't support Modbus uh, RTU, please note it. Control mode. VD3E support CSP and HM. CSP is cyclically sync position mode. HM is homing mode. And this and this is uh, what this is what VD2 support. Position, speed, torque, and uh, mix. Last difference is about PC software. As I said just now, uh, VD3E support Type C to connect servo to PC. But VD2 need a RS422 cable and connect in RJ45 uh, 45 ports. This cable is uh, a little hard to get, but Type C is uh, easy to get, I think. <clears throat> okay, this is today's training. Here we have the PLC link, uh, PLC software link and the training form, training form link. I will put the training video and the uh, training, this training file, this training file in the, in this form link. And uh, also there are some simple questions about today's training in the form link. So you can uh, check it when you have time. Okay, thank you for your listening. And our next training will be in next Tuesday. I will introduce FB and FC functions, what they are and how they work, and how to build custom, a custom FB and FC. Okay, thank you for your listening.